The safest way to describe your life right now, how would you, how would you even describe what you're experiencing right now these days? A rift's not far off. Yeah, it's kind of, <laughs> right? yeah, pretty mad. It's insane in the best way. We were talking earlier, we were walking down the hallway and I was saying to you, asking you if you had any idea when you were reading the scripts for this show that this role would be a kind of game-changing, life-changing scenario for you. Well, you never know, do you? I, I, I definitely wouldn't say that I read it and went, hmm, <laughs> here we go. Uh, I, it, it was obviously a very well-written role, and yeah, I think yeah, that yeah. with any character, it's got a really strong beginning, fascinating middle, and a really tragic and beautiful end, and that's kind of all you can ask for. Um, but no, I didn't ever anticipate I'd be uh, doing like this. Yeah, right? Did you ever anticipate you might meet yet another member? Stop it. Of... No. The hell. You're not, are you? Fire club. You're in the club. Boom, baby. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. I even, Look cut at the, it. I even cut the sleeves ah. off because it's that serious. Come on. It's that serious. It's serious. So, like, you can. This is a safe place. It's a safe good. scenario. But I, I am. I am curious to know. For you, like, what has been the biggest change? I mean, of course, there's like people who love the show. I mean, am I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this season of Stranger Things has broken all kinds of Netflix streaming records, all kinds of worldwide streaming records. I mean, it's huge. I think we broke Netflix at one point, which exactly. is kind of funny. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it's been, it's, I, I mean, I'm delighted for everyone involved. I can't tell you how hard we all worked on it, and it's yeah. for years, you know, and so. I'm thrilled for the brothers. I think releasing something this enormous and this, this ambitious and for, for it to go well, because it could e easily just fall in a little flat or fall in a little short. And I think it's surpassed people's expectations and I'm so delighted for them. Uh, what was the question? No, I just, I'm, <laughs> I was like, did I answer, did I answer the question? Yeah, what, what's been the craziest thing? Well, yeah, what, what, is, what has been the thing that you like what has been the craziest part of this experience for you? I think just doing something that has, has, that has this scope, I guess, that has, I guess any actor wants the roles that they play and the stories that they're a part of to, to touch people and yeah. to, to affect people. But like to be introduced this season, to be loved so hard this season, and then to be dead, 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 dead. <laughs> All in one season. I mean, you you feel the whole like experience of like uh, like w what people dream of in an, in a character. There's no way he's really gone, right? Like Eddie, he ain't really gone. I don't know. He feels kind of gone. I'd say it's pretty hard for him to for them to bring him back. I'd say, but um, I don't know. Not a I don't know. Don't they know. They don't know. They haven't said anything. To I you? don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't one, know. One more time for the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're, what, you, what you're saying to me is that there have been no conversations about season five quite yet? None that I'm a part of. I'm sure there's been lots of conversations, but I'm, uh, yeah, they're the grown-ups talking. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So then tell me about your experience coming into this season. I mean, this is a tight-knit group. They're like a family. Yes. You know, we've been with the, we really have been with them as they've grown up. We've seen these kids like, blossom into not only to, into actors, monsters to, yeah right, no. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, kind of no, no I'm kidding but we've seen them grow up into like not just young actors but young people right, right. like young adults what was it like coming on the set that first day um well it was a quite weird day at the end of the day we went into lockdown so, oh, <laughs> so that, that was quite weird really? it was very strange uh, there was a build big build up and i was in atlanta for three weeks trying on wigs and then it got to yeah, game day. And then uh, Sean Just Levy game. came out at lunchtime and said, we're going to finish the day and then we're going to go into, we're going to have a two-week hiatus. Cut to six, two weeks. Remember that? Remember that? Remember that? Yeah. Remember when we were all like, just see you in two just, weeks. Just, just take, listen, yeah. take this two weeks. It's a sabbatical. Because you're going to yeah. need it. Yeah, relax, and put your feet up. Cut to years later. Going crazy. Yeah. Yes, so six months later, I went back out and I remember my first day was, it was the Dungeons and Dragons Club. Yeah. Uh, the Hellfire yeah, yeah. Club. I sound like an idiot. It was uh, that, that sequence. Where <laughs> 
you know, the Dungeons and Dragons club. Yeah. So it was great. that it was that sequence where Erica comes in to join the club. Okay. And we did that, and we did the uh, the sequence where we play the game, and it cuts between the basketball game. So so that was my first day. So I was with, literally with all of these these kids, yeah. and they were. You know, they're consummate pros. Were they so nice to lovely. you? Lovely, Did they lovely, lovely. Haze you? No, no, no. So lovely. Hide your script, your uh, lunch. No, if it was. They were lovely, and I think it's not just the job that they do. It's yeah. it's the stuff around it that kind of to make people feel comfortable and that stuff. And Finn came up to me at the end of the day and he said, "I'm really proud of you." Come on. Yeah. Was, I'm getting emotional thinking about it. It's just like, he's, a, he's not a kid, but he's a young person. And right. to have that, that kind of, um, yeah. Presence that, of that mind. Insta yeah, that instinct to kind of be uh, a family was just, I wasn't expecting that. And a leader, really. Leader, totally. You know what I mean? And a leader. Okay, so, you know. so, so tell me this. Yeah. We talked about the wig a little bit earlier. Did you keep it? Tell me the truth. I tried. Just, just, I tried like, to. Just, just tell me. What do you mean you tried? I tried to. to, I tried to. I kind of, I picked it up and uh -huh. I looked at Sarah and I went. <laughs> and <laughs> Sarah, went Sarah Hines called the genius hair, uh, right. hair lady. She's amazing. Um, and yes, yeah, she just kind of went. Mm -mm, and I went mm -mm, and put it down. You know, that's a good sign. I know. I would have liked to have seen daylight with it, though, to kind of make it to the car and then, you know, go but down I, and then face I'm a, glory. I'm going to just tell you, though, it's a good sign if we got to keep the wig. <laughs> Might maybe, mean, maybe, maybe, maybe. you know, we got to keep you around. <laughs> I mean, at least in a flashback or something, you cannot honestly. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't know. You got that Game of Thrones training. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is one of those shows that families watch together, right? That um, friends gather around. Like, it's a, it, is, it has become kind of like, uh, almost like appointment television, right? Like people love this show. Civilians and celebrities. Who has been one of the celebrities out there that surprised you with their fandom over you? Like who was one you were like, I didn't see that one coming? Mariah Carey? Probably Jack Black. Really? Yeah, yeah. He, he uh, said something on an interview recently um, and he mentioned my character and I've loved him since, yeah, I've watched School of Rock was one of my favorite films. So that was, okay. the fact that he knows that I'm a person is quite funny. And as a fan, yeah. like enjoys what you do. Nice. What does that feel like? I mean, to be having this role be such a breakout role for you, what does it feel like to have that experience you had before Stranger Things and now Jack Black is talking about you in an interview. It's very surreal. I mean, the show's only been out for two months, so it feels kind of um, very difficult to talk about because it feels like I'm kind of still right in the middle of it. But as, yeah, it's a breakout thing, I guess is the word that you use. I, all you want is choice in this thing as, a, as an actor or an artist, I don't know. And I think that if I could have any choice over my career, I, I would feel cautiously successful and um, and if, if I'm able to if this job can provide me with maybe a, a slither of choice mm -hmm. I would be a very very happy man okay happy man with a slither of choice what does mom think what has she shared with you about like what she thinks of this or when she hears people talking about you in this show I has she watched the show yeah she's watched the show okay, okay. Um, yeah she's delighted I think I think she's kind of it's very surreal because she's working, so I can't see her. So right, I think right. it's kind of the access that she has to me is through the internet, which is, yeah, very weird. Wild. Yeah. Wild. Wild, wild. It has got to be cool to walk around New York, Paris, Miami, L.A., any big city, and see Stranger Things billboards and buses and to know that you're a part of that. I mean, this experience itself, I mean, it's kind of wild. It's astonishing. I think moments like this happen once in a generation, really. Something that has, it's a behemoth that yeah. connects with people and makes people feel good and has, and the sentiment of it is, as you said, it's appointment television. There's something in it for everyone. And so to be a part of that is the greatest gift of my life. It's yeah. insane. Now, you know, there's a theory out there that in season five, <clears throat> you might come back as a vampire. I just, 
wonder what would you I don't know. <laughs> would you would I you come know. back at it? I don't know. But you would like I would to. love to come back. I'd love to come back, but I don't know if But like as a vampire? As a vampire, maybe. Why not? <laughs> right? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Okay, tell me this. I mean and and, and I guess this may be in, in, in all seriousness. I, I really have enjoyed our time together in this Likewise. experience and, yeah. and, and in this scenario. But what would you tell the guy who was going out for the audition for this? And maybe nervous? Like, I, I wouldn't know what to tell him. He wouldn't know, he wouldn't, well, I, he wouldn't know what to say. Yeah, it's mad, mad. What was your audition like? It was disarmingly quick. I did two self-tapes in my flat in London, and then they gave me the job. What? I know. Two self-tapes? Really weird, yeah. You gotta do more, uh, you gotta do more interviews to get a job at Kroger. I don't know why they said yes, but yeah, it's weird. 